Many of you are sharing your thoughts and memories of Jim Richter on social media. You might better know him as the broom guy. The man who shared smiles and cleaning tools for decades has died. WRTV's Amber Grigley takes us back to one of his most memorable highlights. I need a broom. Well, you came to the right place. His story captured the hearts of many. Jim Richter, also known as the broom guy, has died at the age of 84. His son, Andy Richter, made the announcement on Facebook, saying in part, the broom guy has sold his last broom. Jim Richter sold brooms outside of local post offices and other places across the Circle City since the 1950s. After learning how to make them while attending the Indiana School for the Blind and Visually Impaired. But in 2016, he gained more popularity when the U.S. Postal Service informed him at the Nora branch that he could no longer sell his brooms outside his post offices. This lady came barging out the door and said, you can't do that here anymore. And I said, well, ma'am, I uh, don't ma'am me. I'm the postmaster and I'm ordering you off our property. The news upset many of his supporters and went viral. The right push to get the House Speaker Brian Bosma and Governor Mike Pence to make it right. They wrote a letter to the Indianapolis postmaster asking that they allow Richter to continue selling his brooms at post offices. Governor Pence even purchased a few brooms from him in support. He said, I have a personal call into the postmaster general today and I have to go to Evansville. But on the way back, I expect this issue to be resolved. Sure enough, it was resolved. And the U.S. Postal Service reversed course, allowing the broom guy to finish what he started until his final days. Working for you, I'm Amber Grigley, WRTV. He rest in peace. Jim Richter's funeral will be held on Friday. Richter's son says his dad left behind some broom inventory. So he plans to take what's left of one of his father's regular spots there for the final broom guy sales.